Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. My sincere thanks to Juliet Foxtrot 3, Hotel Zulu Bravo and Delta Juliet 7 Oscar Oscar for freely providing the code. Let's power it on. I specifically made this as an upgrade to my existing DDS VFO I was using on my HF military man pack for 24 years. I'm using a simple mechanical encoder with a switch from Bones and it has detents. This is the up button for tuning steps, goes to a maximum 1 MHz step. And this is the down button for tuning steps, goes to a minimum of 10 Hz. This is the memory button stored in the sketch before runtime. And this push stores the last frequency used. So we go to the same frequency when powered on after last use. You can see that it has gone back to the last frequency used. Now let's take a look inside the box. This is the audio DSP from Hale Clear Speech. DSP level tone and volume controls. It needed DC ground isolated jacks, so I had to mount them this way. I used a chassis mount SMA connector for the output. This hole is for a future headphone socket. I'm using channel 2 on the SI5351. I can easily change the output when needed for testing. I'm temporarily using a fat copper flat as a heat sink on the 7805 regulator. As can be seen, I'm using wire wrapping to keep the project simple on a general purpose PCB mounted on plastic spacers. The display is a 1.8 inch TFT SPI 128 by 160. Let's now see it in action. This is the main tuning encoder in the ASU FT767 and the GX as well. Most often this was you know becoming defective and people replaced it. Not sure whether anybody repaired it. Uh, at least I couldn't get in any information on that. And as uh, we all know the mechanical encoders it has detents and that's a little cumbersome when, uh, when tuning. So this is smooth. Uh, this has been with me for over 10 years. A friend uh, replaced with a new one because this was found defective and just he handed it over to me sitting in my shack for all these years. So this time I thought okay why not instead of buying a new one let me attempt repairing this. Uh, glad I did that. This IC it's a dual op amp high precision op amp that was not behaving correctly one channel especially. Fortunately uh, with the help of my XY uh, because she deals with electronics uh, parts I was able to source this is the old one Japan radio company I believe JRC it's a 2903 I hope you can see that it's a 2903 4 pin SO uh, sorry 8 pin SOIC so I was able to source not from the same company from a good company MX I replaced it yesterday and it is working <coughs> So the plan is now to remove the bones mechanical encoder and replace with this. The only issue is it doesn't have a push button switch. So I'll have to add one switch, additional switch on the front panel uh, which I'm using for storing the last frequency used. So immediately I won't be able to do it because I need to add one more switch there. The connections are simple. Yellow is positive and the brown here is negative and the red and the in-between orange one those are the channel A and channel B and this is uh, this works off uh, on uh, 5 volts. Yeah, 